Okay, so in this video, we're going to go through, um, you know, the trade plan, individual trade plan controls and what they mean, you know, and how, you know, you can go through the various um, trade on afraid states with these, um, with the, uh, what's it called, with, you know, using these, um, using the control panels for each of the individual trade plans. Okay, so, you know, our first one, it's going to be Apple, right? And this is how you pause a trade plan. That's how you unpause it. And you can cancel a trade plan with the cancel button. And if you want to manually enter long, you click enter long. Okay, and it just quickly got flattened for a $6 gain um, in sim trading. And then, you know, the same thing with short. You know, you have your pause, unpause, cancel, and then you can click enter short. Okay, and what's the notice is that if a trade can only enter short, this will be green. If it can only, if it can enter long or short, it will be, they will both be green. Notice how this is kind of grayed out. Okay, so let's enter short. You see we have our short position. We'll flatten you and get rid of you as well. And same thing here, enter long, enter short. We have both options available. All right, and perfect. Okay. Um, now we're going to go through some of the various states, right? Or sorry, and then the last one is if a trade plan is entered, you know, our classic flatten close percentage buttons, right? These buttons, you know, if you haven't sell to close order for, let's say, one at 101, um, these buttons will let you cancel and replace. So if you want to close your position really fast, click flatten, it'll cancel, you click 10%, cancel that and you know etc do you know I'm sure any user trade or is familiar with these positions at this point so let's just get this one off the screen as well flatten okay um, fine and now we're gonna deal with um, two of the persistent states okay so one is a deactivated trade plan right you get to that state by oops, wrong button by clicking repeating and then you know your trade plan goes through a cycle you get into a position you exit a position and you put on deactivate so in order to activate a deactivated trade plan you click activate and it will start everything up okay i'm not sure why the candles aren't showing up most likely has to do with um just um just get rid of that. okay whatever um fine so that's you know you have a deactivated trade plan that's how you get there and then, okay, I was trying to set this one up as well, but it hasn't really gone yet. This is for a persisted trade plan. Try to refresh the page. I'm not sure why it's not entering into the trade. It's very strange. Um, okay, well, let's see if I can get this to go. Second, let me just try and quickly get a trade plan to run here so I can show the persisted state. So we're going to persist if filter validation failed. We're going to hit break on 100, so it should happen really fast. Time of day, make it impossible. Okay, so you know, this past my current time so this trade should automatically get filtered a sim and stock and we'll go long and okay so the trade you know cannot break it's been filtered out and now you know those are trade let's say trading candle triggers right and um the trade plan you know it's, it's um, above yesterday's high and you get into this persistent state in which it stays on the page and you can manually enter long and that kind of stuff um, the next stage you know would be to click restart which would reactivate the trade plan and it's above 100 so let's just um, edit this I think you can edit this at this point no okay it doesn't look like it's going through but okay so it's gotten under 100 you restart it where right? you were activating a persistent trade plan and now the trade will, if it goes back over 100, it would be in active state again. Okay.